Rock Computer College. Define quality training in information technology. When you create a new document in Word, you'll need to know how to save it so you can access it for future use. Now, Word offers two ways to save a file, that is the save and save as command. These options work in a similar way with a few important differences. Now, with save, when you save a file for the first time, you'll only need to choose a file name and location that time. After that, you can click the save command to save it with the same name and location. But with the save as, it will create a copy of the document while keeping the original. When you use save as, you'll need to choose a different name and or location for the copied version. So now let's look at how to save a document. So let's say I was typing something here. Um, and then I want to save it. This is the first time I'm saving this document. I click on the save icon on the quick access toolbar. And then the savers panel will appear. If you're saving a document for the first time and then you click save, the savers panel will appear. Now it will take you back to this backstage view. Now here you click on browse and select where you want to save your document. So let's say I want to save my in desktop and then give it a name. Um, it's already given its name, itself a name, so I'll leave it that way and click on save. So if I come and add some more details over here or make some edit, I'm like, let me add some words. Like that, then I click save. It will be automatically saved to the original file. So if I close this, then I'll look for that file and here it is. And if I open it, it's already made the changes. Now, let's look how to use savers. Using savers to make a copy. Now, if you want to make a different version of a document while keeping the original, you can create it by using the savers command. So to do this, click the savers command in backstage view. So we will go to the backstage view. Click on File, then here, then click on Save Us. Now click on Browse and choose where you want to save it. So I'll still save by desktop, but I'll change the file name. So this one I'll call it Fruit. And then click on Save. Now if we close this, I have created a new file, a new document called Fruit. And if I open it, it's the same document, but with a different file name. So I end up having two different files in my PC. Now that's the difference between save and save us.